what's going on guys it's your boy cash and we are here today to talk about how crappy and sad this banner is now first of all all seven deadly sins aren't on the banner <laughs> that's one issue that i have you go click on the rates and you scroll through like okay there's some couple good characters here you know obviously it's the seven deadly sins i'm gonna speak from my perspective right so I need Fire DN or one of the Fire DNs so I can actually have the sexy King Alt, right? I don't have Snatcher Bond because I'm just waiting for him to go on sale. I don't feel like he's something that you rush to get. I would like to have the Blue Bond, right? I have King. I actually have the Old Far King, and I also I don't know. This would be nice to have. They have Blue Gother in here, but they do not have the Red one. That's actually one of my biggest issues, is because the Red Gother is literally in the game, <laughs> and if you were gonna have any character that people were like, hmm, it might be a nice chance to get him. So he's not in here. They did put Red Helbram in here, but they did not put Gother in here. So that was my my biggest gripe as far as like trying to summon on this banner. Now, what is this banner really for? To me, it's a whale banner. It's a banner for people that spend money in the game that they now have a pretty good chance to transfer. Oh my God, stop pressing the buttons. They have a pretty good chance to transfer some of their gems into platinum coins and maybe fill out like you know get gaps into their decks really it's really not a banner that i feel like most of us like i'm free to play i feel like some other people are still free to play it's gonna be rough because if you summon on this banner you might get some of the sins but isn't the whole part of the sins is that they're supposed to go into the coin shop later so <laughs> it's like the whole purpose of what you're of saving for is still gonna be in the shop like right now in the coin shop they do have my my boo you guys know i'm pretty much one of the only person i rep it i do apologize for not putting up many videos of this game but i was just kind of enjoying it and just relaxing and just enjoying the game uh, if i'm being honest so you know they have her out there they finally put a uh, green jericho here so you should already have Jericho, and she's not that actually bad to purchase for, you know, purchase up front for the price. But I also have Red, and I do like the Red Guild Thunder. I think he's a little bit underrated. People should give that boy some more respect. So I bought both of those. And Silver is, you know, you just stack it up for potions pretty much. <laughs> but I think it's not that bad to purchase some some of these other things here, depending. Like if you want to max out an alt, which I really got to start doing. is Maxing out heroes that are going to be associated with other heroes, I think that I should really start doing that because... Just so I know it's done, so every time I get a SR, I already know that I can just chuck it in there. Because I already maxed the ult of every other character that I need. So, as far as summoning on this banner, it's going to be a really rough sell. I'm probably going to do one. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? I can do five. I'm going to do one. Or maybe I'll do it until I get an SSR and then say, well, that's good enough. But if I keep summoning on the banner and it's... Oh, it's gonna feel bad. It's gonna feel gross if I if I keep summoning and it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good Cuz for me, it's not that bad and technically getting dupes isn't that bad for me either because as I just said that green green bond is eventually gonna go on sale and then of course Ogother is eventually gonna go on sale into the shop So getting more prepared for that would be better because if I get enough platinum coins Then it doesn't matter how many gems I have, you know, so it's, it's not that bad of a conversion in my opinion if you get like a SSR every pull which is not likely. Oh, look at all this good stuff. Oh, baby, I could do six pulls if I wanted to. I forgot to come in here and claim. And I don't know about you guys. Do you forget? I know I forget to actually do my... I forget to do my daily summon all the time because it doesn't actually light up or anything like that. It doesn't tell you that it's there. I forget all the time. and I always feel bad. I'm like, dang, man, did I do my summon? Because that's a lot of coins that I'm missing out on. So my wish list when I summon on this banner is... One of the fighter DNs, Blue Bond. I don't even know if this guy is good. Okay, I can see. He's the he's the one that has a counter state when you attack an ally. So he pretty much will counter as long as they're attacking in general, which is pretty good. I always kind of like cards like this, and especially if he gets high like this. I would love to see someone someone out there, uh, FG please for Christmas. Uh, maybe do him the counter attack Hauser because they those two these two by themselves counter attack every time. Like you know they'll counter attack every single time there's an attack. And most people run teams that have attacks so they almost it's like they can't really control themselves. And just putting Gother or Red Gother in there just so you can rank them up and make it do a lot of damage. It'd just be interesting to see. Oh, and he has this thing too. Heals damage at the start of the turn if the hero takes damage. So pretty good. Makes him sustainy. If I get Red Merlin, I will give her skill ups because I just like her. And I you guys know I'm a big pioneer of Red Merlin. So that'd be pretty good for me. I think people are sleeping on this Ghoulia. I'm surprised FG, Mr. Forehead, Gang Bang Bang, 
uh, doesn't use this Ghoulia because she's actually better for single target instead of it being AoE. She's a better single target igniter and she does more damage single target Lee, however the heck we say that. Red Hellbrum obviously would be good for us. Same thing with the green one because the green one's used in some other stuff too. So I, that's just pretty much where I, where my head is at. Uh, good luck to us. Good luck to you guys if you plan to summon on the banner. I always title my thing this banner is trash and you know it. Or this is something trash and you know it. Whatever. Let's 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 test the waters. Let's test the waters. Because I, I pretty much like to do a, a videos doing these at least a week. I like to do a guide. If you guys want to see me do a guide on a certain character. See look, we're already starting donuts. We do have a headband tattoo, which is a good sign. At least for me it is. That's a good sign. Blue, that means utter trash. Okay. So wait, does it, can you only summon on this banner seven times in general? Is that what it's telling me? Is that is that how this works? Whatever, man. Whatever. I'll give it three. Four, five, six. Let me see. Oh, okay, so boom. Lights in the back plus. We got two signs of uh, SSR. That's a double. Does that mean it's automatic SSR? Like double SSR? Because the things in the back happen. Him going Super Saiyan is a sign too. I don't know if that means double SSR. So look, you don't. You can't give up so easily. Don't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. So let's see if my theory is correct. It is somewhat correct. There goes two. And I now every YouTuber's dream. So you get an SSR in your pull, and I got to do it all slow like. I like that Henderson, but I feel like he does no damage. Even though he has AOE, his heal starts off with rejuvenation. Green Meliodas. I was actually maxing, I was thinking about, I used him so much, I should max out his ult. But is it at the point where you don't use him anymore? Am I at the point where you don't really need to use him anymore, so using his coins for his ult would be useful? Kinda, I've kinda been torn in between that, really. Yes, I already maxed her ult out because it's Jericho. Maracas, motherfuckers. I like him. He's such a cool character. I wish he wasn't an SSR almost. Uh, I don't know what King this is. <laughs> it's probably the one I already have. Yeah. So, Protector of Dolls. So, this is the old fart one. So, leveling him up. His ult is, no, his ult is single target. It's a single target defense break, which is very strange. Very strange thing. It does have a good base, though. That's a lot of good damage. Uh, a lot of good damage. That's good damage for a single target hit. Lowers the defense, so you can follow up with an attack. But the problem with that is that when you ult, <laughs> you essentially want that thing to die. You wasted a lot of time, or you moved a bunch of moves around, and it's like, yes, I got my ult. And it's like, yeah, it's not dead, but you can kill it now, though. I, I guess it's also good for bosses it's a really good thing for bosses but most boss fights aren't good for an aoe based character and he's an aoe based character both of his moves are aoe so they don't do a muff, an, a muff enough damage and as you can see after i explained that he ran for the hills <laughs> he's like little why you gotta tell him i'm my thing i don't think maxing his alt would make any sense really so i think that's a pretty safe coin for me and then we have the green meliodas let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think should is it worth it like i still use him a lot like, I still use him a lot, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, he's with Lizhawk, which, oh my god, that's what my other issue was. I don't think she's in here. She's not a legendary whatever the heck, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. But it would have been nice if she's in here, because maybe I don't know the lore, but why the heck is Guild Thunder in here? Why is Hauser in here? Why is Griamore in here? Why is Hendrickson in here? Why is H Helbram in here? Slater. I, I feel like Slater's been coming like an honorary member lately, but... Why are these other characters in here? They really should have shortened the pool so, you know, you would have been more satisfied with your with your pulling this. Maybe I should just finish the stupid thing. You pull seven and then something magical happens, I guess. I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> no indicators. Ooh, that's an indicator. That's an SSR buzz. That's an SSR buzz. So, three so far. So if you think about it, 
Three summons, three SSRs. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good address. Three summons, three SSRs. Interesting. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of platinum coins out of this. So now I could safely get um I could safely get you know whatever characters on sale. I could probably get Green Bond right now, but like I said, I don't think he's something that you rush to get. If you got him early, you got him early. Come on. Er, 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 er. Hey! Okay. I'm happy about that. So now I actually can finally do the, the celebration at all. And I was kind of pissed because when she was on sale, she was five platinum coins. And I was like, dang, I, oh, I don't really, I shouldn't really use her. One, I realized that she's not that bad. And then two, I was like, oh, I don't have the king alt, which is like basic way of increasing the damage of blue and green kings alt. Uh, she actually has rupture. Ooh, that's interesting. Wait a minute. Wait, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, what color is she? I think she. This one's red. So having rupture is pretty good with everyone buffing out their out of their freaking minds. Obviously, Arthur, who is super popular, and annoying that I even I had to go in there. I was like, yo, I gotta build my Arthur. And this is pretty good, obviously, with Gallon in there too. Only problem is that it's a tax seal. She's a tax seal bait. And then this one. Oh yeah. Disable buff and debuff skills, so you can actually chuck this right over to... Well, you can chuck it to Arthur. You can definitely chuck it over to King, force him to heal it. And yeah, I like this. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And the rest don't matter. Oh, she's blue. That's even better. Oh, God, that's so much better that she's blue. So we can fight. We're fighting fine against Galen, and we'll fight against King Helbrum, Brum, King Abram, Long League, the King Brom, whatever the heck <laughs> they want to call it. Um, so that's really happy. We're really good. Nothing there. Tattoo on the head? No. No tattoo on the head. I feel like this is a skip. No tattoos at all. Usually we got the left side tattoo, right side tattoo. We got the arm tattoo. But that's usually nothing. Blue? Yeah. You're not fooling me. I, I ended up spending it all. I, 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 I'm a filthy person. Okay. Thing in the back, blue eyes. Okay, double SSR pull. I don't really care about Escanor. <laughs> I've been, I'm one of the people that's trying to figure out like that strategy, how to beat him, you know. And I'll, I'll stack up enough chips later to get at least hopefully one copy. I can't stop summoning, man. That's why I play these games. I play these games to summon, and this is what I get. So hopefully we get another fill in the gaps. The more characters you have in this game, the better off. Double, like I said, I think that's actually indicator. The more indicators that pop up, the more SSR there in the pool. Yo, fuck everyone that told me to build this character, man. He does no damage. He does, it's nice that he has all like AOE skills, but he does no damage. It could be my gear, obviously. Like, I wonder if I switch my Hauser gear with his gear, would he actually do some damage, but he does like no damage. I kind of like this Bond. I feel like he should be used a little bit more often, just because of... I would like to have maybe a whole team that has alt denial. That Bond, Red Hellbrum, and uh, who else does it? And uh, Green Merlin. And then the other team could never get that off unless they attack seal me. And I realized I should save one of these Jerichos so I can give it to... Uh, who is it? But it's Striker! Freaking uh, the Bond. So I can have a maxed out Jericho to combine with him. And I can run the regular Jericho. Because for some reason, you can't do two SSR copies of a character, but you can do the SSR character and then the SR version. So I can actually combine my Captain Meliodas with someone else or use him and then go with who else uses him, I guess a Liz Hawk or whatever like that, and then use the SSR version like him and I'll still get the double. First one. Which one is this? I don't remember. That is, this is the one that I have. Weak point? No. No, this is the blue one. I kind of like this one too. So he has lifesteal on, on the first one, and then he has the, yeah, he has the extort as a skill. And then he has the snatchy, yeah, the, with the, no, this is, this is one with king. Which one is this? I think this is the blue one. I'm pretty sure this is the blue one. Right, back to back. Another one. He's like, nah, bro, for real. Oh, no, this is the other one. Okay. 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 Happy camper. Happy camper. And nothing else matters. 
Boom, double new. So this is the green one. Okay, so we have the green, the other green Mon, Nan Nan Chaku Mon. Cool. Cool, and I can see his UR version. Ooh, we are filling out the, the roster. This is the last one I can do, but surprise, surprise, I actually have two SSR tickets that I'm gonna blow in this video as well. Ooh, Super Saiyajin. Okay, smack it back. I feel like that's still one though. I feel like that one is indicative of two. I feel like the Super Saiyan Jin always does the slashback. So it could be a double. Man, this is like candy for a person like me though. Like for a person that likes seeing the animation, the SSR, this is like candy. It's a single like I figured. Gotcha. Let's see how we're hooking. So to end this video as most properly as possible, or end this summoning on this banner as most properly as possible, it would be to get the red helper. That would be the most proper. Just saying. Net Marvel. Just saying. You don't have to do it. But it's deeply implied. Because I didn't summon a Red Hellbone's banner at all. Ah, he's, he's out here. Now I gotta check other people's summon videos. See how, how out here this guy is. If you get like a SSR every pull, which is not likely. All right, and that's gonna be it for this banner. Got another Doofy Daisies. Good to go. See, I have one remaining and then something happens. I don't even know what happens. I'm deeply confused. Oh, I get it. So up to seven times I summon on this banner, the rate is increased to that degree. And then I'm assuming after that, it's doo-doo. Interesting. Wow, what a grimy little mechanic you got there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have the two tickets here. This is gonna help me get out. So I think this is the same. It should be like the same. Yeah, so it's the same banner, I guess. The only thing that's outside of this is that you can get Arthur here, which I think is definitely good to dupe up, and Elaine. So they just took these two out. So Red Helbram actually is already in this banner. I did not know that. Interesting. Interesting it is. Oh, and the green, the one that I just got, the green uh, bond that I just got is not in this banner either. All right, two times. We're gonna skip it because it's already, we already know it is. There's no suspense to need to had No YouTuber magic that we need to do here. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. Wait, didn't, didn't I just say he's not on it? Interesting it is. Oh, and the green, the one that I just got, the green uh, bond that I just got is not in this banner either. Maybe I missed it. It's a, it's a high possibility I missed it. Oh, what the? F yeah, that's actually kind of grimy. <laughs> And now I can't go to it because it's not active. And now I need to go look up also, what is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't know what this thing is. I gotta figure it out. Um, I gotta look at the notes to see what that is. If you guys know, you let me know in the comment section below to help a lazy man out. Oh, there's also an event in Savage Equipment as well. There's a lot of events going on right now. Oh, Super Ultra Success. They also said the same thing for, if you guys checked here, the when you use enhancement stuff. Ooh, look at the fire. So we pretty much got three cards. <laughs> Three new heroes. Seems like it might not be that bad of an idea. This is spent at $8. It's fucking $8. But I really want this character. I'm so happy that they've been showing her off because any character with Amplify is a character that I want. <laughs> it's such a cool mechanic, man. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the content. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I should have said this in the beginning of the video. I'm a terrible person. But feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It helps me out a ton. If you watch these videos and you enjoy them, I like to edit them down, take off all the crappy parts, and keep all the good. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If there's a character that you guys want me to, you know what? I'm gonna do my own guide. I'm gonna do a guide on this guy or something. I don't know, but people might get confused. What do you mean? This isn't the nunchucks. Yeah, it's not the nunchucks. He left the nunchucks at home to body you with the bare hands, skis. Just remember that every day at the casino is your lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.